Uh, again, my name is Chris Gray. I'm with Pfizer. I'm in their corporate responsibility group. Uh, I manage our relationships with global institutions. Uh, but I'm going to start my presentation just by claiming my age. And you'll see why this is relevant earlier. But uh, some of you raised your hands earlier. But uh, it's something that we're trying to get people to talk about. And uh, is my slide going up? Uh, we want to oh, have a candid and honest down. conversation and really start uh, a dialogue with the public about aging, uh, what it means to age, how people want to age, and really take advantage of the longevity dividend that Stephen was talking about. And we want to push the envelope on how people are going to age going forward. So here's Pfizer, uh, or my representation of Pfizer. It's a big, lumbering, multinational company. A little slow on the pickup with new technology sometimes. Uh, and then here's, uh, I would say, social media. Uh, and so we are actually 150 years old. Uh, social media is a little bit older than five, but it, it's a good representation, I think. What we did about 18 months ago is we launched a website called getold.com. Now, it's a little bit of a, a jarring title for a website, I know. And we've had lots of different reactions to it, but it gets people's attention. You know, people want to go see, well, what are they talking about? I don't want to get old. But when they hear what the message is, it becomes a little bit more palatable. And it's, it's really about how people want to get old. It's information from different third-party sources about uh, how we can help get old, how others can help people get old, build a network. Uh, if you're interested in information, you can go on here and hit search on let's say financial security, and it links you to a third party organization that specializes in that. This is not a marketing scheme from Pfizer. You've seen our ads. We wanted to do something very, very different. We just wanted to open up a platform of conversation, put some questions out there, and hear from people about what they're thinking. Uh, we all know the demographic uh, numbers. It's a huge social movement. Uh, and we're all going to have to adjust and figure out ways uh, that we enjoy the extra uh, dividend that we are blessed with over the past 100 years. So this is the first iteration of Get Old. Um, and you can see we had sort of a theme about stickies, and we had quest the, our question was, how, how do you feel about getting old? And we had choices like, you know, I'm scared, I'm happy, things like that. And it was for all ages, so you could see how other people in your age category or your exact age were responding. We put stories up, we put videos, people can load their own videos, their own stories. But, you know, I'd say this was a good first effort by Pfizer. You know, we're not experts on social media, we're not a social media company. Uh, this was all new to us. So, we got some good feedback, we got some bad feedback. And I would just say that Stephen's feedback in his blog when he reviewed the site before I even knew him uh, is pretty on target. And you know, I think the three lights that Stephen had were we are taking, we're, you know, we're taking the initiative. We're we're starting the dialogue. We want to open the conversation. It's risky. It's risky for Pfizer. We don't know what people are going to say. They could say, "Why are you talking about this? Why why is Pfizer even bringing up this subject?" Uh, we had no idea what people were going to say. Um, and we're devoting some resources to it. It's not a big splashy ad campaign. It's very low budget. We basically built the website. And we have some people working on it. And we, and we partner a lot with, with organizations, uh, caregiver organizations, uh, Alzheimer's Disease International. But um, the reservations, I think, some of them were pretty on target. The first one, um, you know, we're not quite sure if, that, if, if we buy into that, that old is not a term worth trying to say. What we're finding, actually, is that people like the term old. It's, it's not a bad word. Um, it may be a bad word for advertisers who want to attract uh, young, young buyers. But it's not really a bad word. Um, it doesn't have a point of view. We kind of agreed with that, and we worked on it. Uh, it's not a community. Well, we're building a community. It wasn't a community at first. Uh, and the user experience a bit of a dog's dinner, and we agree. So we worked on it over the year, and this is getold.com 2.0. Uh, we wanted to engage people in the dialogue more. We have three sections, inspire, declare, and explore. So we want people to be inspired by people's stories, from the public, we want people to declare their age, and we want people to explore more information or questions as they go along. We uh, really, with this approach, we had a lot more uh, 
users over 2012, three times more. And the demographic is mostly trending towards people in their 50s, mostly women, and then people in their 60s and 40s. But the website is really geared towards all ages. So again, this kind of gets back to what I did before. We had a big uh, launch for this 2.0 in Times Square with people claiming their age. They went up on the Jumbotron. Uh, and we're asking people online to claim their age, to start talking about it. What does it mean to be 27? What do you want to be, you know, how do you want it to be when you're 60 or 80 or 100? So we have, well, of course, we're doing tweets, we're doing Facebook, uh, all sorts of social media uh, channels. And now we're going global. It was originally directed at the U.S. audience. Uh, it's hard when you have a website to keep it solely confined to one geography. But what we're finding is, obviously, aging is a very, has very cultural uh, nuances to it. Um, not only language, but how people view aging in different societies. So it's, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, we had our Turkish team launch to Get Old uh, site, and doing everything in Turkish, they did their own research uh, with, with focus groups, and came up with their own their own logo, and they're, they're actually, they have the most visited Facebook site of all of our Pfizer affiliates around the world. Uh, we have our German team that's doing something a little bit different, and we're looking into India and what it means to get old in India. Of course, this is a huge challenge, and if anybody has any uh, thoughts or advice on how to, how to address a global audience uh, with one website, uh, please let me know. <laughs> Uh, just a couple other things that we're doing. We also are doing some research into M Health and aging. So how, what, what's being designed? This is probably a lot of your products. What's being designed for the aging population? What's going to be of use to the aging population? How are people pre providing their feedback? So we're doing some research and white papers with the M Health Alliance. It's going to be a big topic of discussion at the M Health Summit. If any of you go to that in Washington D.C. in December. We also did a publication, uh, all of the pharmaceutical companies are developing apps, of course, so we decided to put all those examples and best practices together into a publication. If anyone's interested, uh, I, can, I can send that to you. So, you know, we are catching up, uh, we're learning as we go, and uh, if anyone has any thoughts or comments, criticism, I'd love to hear it. And if you're going to the M Health Summit, uh, there will be a, a session on M Health and aging. Thank you. Chris, uh, we've got time for just a, yeah. a question or two. Uh, and certainly opened up to the audience. One that it's occurred, occurred to me, or two, two things, you, you can choose either one. One was, has sort of the business units been interested in this, or do they just see this as a nice social responsibility project? And then second, how can the entrepreneurs in this room get involved? Because they've probably got a bunch of opinions as well. That's a very good question um, about the business units, because at first we really tried to keep it separate. We didn't want there to be any perception that we were using this site to push products. So we would never mention any products. We didn't have the business units or the brand teams involved in the content. Uh, we didn't even get close to therapeutic areas. So after a while, we started figuring out that the, the, even our employees didn't see the relevance of it. Um, so you know, we have we have learned a little bit and we started to address you know, health issues um, and demonstrate why addressing broader health issues, whether it's prevention, immunization, things that are very uh, high level are relevant for this site and for all ages. So we're, we're slowly, uh, I think, demonstrating to them what the, what the value is, but this will never be a site that promotes any product or brand, so to some degree it will always be part of our social corporate responsibility. And then how people can get involved. Uh, I think, you know, you can go on and post any information you want. There is a filter to make sure that, you know, it's not bad information or, uh, but, you know, you can post your stories, you can post your stories in a video, you can show whatever product you're working on and, and how you're developing it. Uh, because a lot of people go to this site and they say, well, what's being developed for, old, for older people or for how to, to stay young or, you know. So you go to this site, look at it. If you have something you want to post, you're either your personal story, a story about someone else, someone else that's using your, your app or your technology, put it up there. Yeah. Uh, if I go to my mother who is uh, a little over 70, 
and I say, Mom, you should go to getold.com, she's going to say, what is it? One sentence? What is, whoa, sorry. In one sentence, what is the answer to what is this site about that you tell someone 70 years old? I'd say it's a, it's a channel of communication and, and a learning uh, environment about how you can get old. I don't know if that's the right Effort elevator speech, but um, you know, it's it's really about connecting. So you know, connecting to a community of people that want to discuss you know, all elements of, of aging. Great. Uh, last question, Cindy. Yeah. Hi. I had a question, which is one of the earlier slides that was shown was insights are lacking, and it seems like your website would be right for that. Are you yeah, planning exactly. to package those and publish those in any way? We have not. We are. You know, monitoring what people are saying just so that we can develop and evolve the site so that we can offer information resources, uh, partner with new organizations or academic centers so that we can provide the type of information that people are looking for. But I don't think that we'll ever package the information in a way that, um, you know, we make money off it or uh, it's, it's really just to improve, help improve the site. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Lucas.